we had a conversation, and I won't get into the specific. Who's we? Specific who's we? Who's we, Shannon? Me, Skip, and Charlie Dixon. Okay. okay. Um, we had a conversation, and uh, I think I conveyed my point fairly well. Um, no matter how much longer I was on the show, how much longer I was going to be at FS1, that level of disrespect wouldn't be tolerated. He made sure to make that point. And how receptive they were. I know I've known Charlie for years. Charlie's a good man. Uh, obviously, I've known Skip for a long time. How was that received when you said that? I said my piece and I got up and walked out. I don't really think there was anything else to discuss or have a discussion. It had already been said. I just wanted to say my piece. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I moved on. Right. Um, I have, uh, it, it's like, I really don't have, I, I've, I've never had a whole lot of relationship with, with the bosses because I really never really saw them. Mm -hmm. So it's not like, you know, we're going out to lunch or we going out to dinner or things like that. Uh, that, that wasn't the case. Um, I'm just, I just want to go to work. I just want to go to work, do my job, come home, be the best, be the best person on tele on at personality. I can be, mm -hmm. be the best person I can be in my home, in the community. That's all I want to do. Right. That's it. I, I, well, all this, all this other stuff that, that, potentially has to come along with it. I can do without that, Stephen. Well, I can honestly do without that. This, you know, and, and I hear where you're coming from, but just three weeks later, I believe it was January 4th, 2023. Um, mm -hmm. A couple of days earlier, DeMar Hamlin had collapsed yeah. on the football field. Mm -hmm. um, the next day on FS1, you were not there. You were not in attendance yeah. for that show. And mm -hmm. then uh, uh, January 4th, you showed up. And here is you expressing your frustration in the aftermath of the DeMar Hamlin situation when you were on the set with Skip Bayless. Take a look at this. Skip tweeted something, and although I disagree with the tweet, uh, and, and uh, hopefully uh, Skip would take it down, but I didn't want it. Well, yep. time out, time out. I'm not going to take it down because okay. I stand by okay. what I tweeted. Skip, let me okay. finish. Let me, All right, okay. Go ahead. No, you go. Go ahead, let's go, Jen. Okay. I mean, I cannot even get through a monologue without you interrupting okay. me. Well, you could have came back, Skip. Well, I thought, Skip, just let. I, I didn't I, know I, you I were going to bring no, up. No, this. I was just going to say, Skip. I didn't want to yesterday to get into a situation where Demar Hamlin was the issue. We should have been talking about him and not get into okay. your not get into your uh, uh, your tweet. That's what I was going to do. But you can't even let me finish my opening monologue without you interrupting. Okay. I was under the impression you weren't going to bring this up because nobody here had a problem with no, that tweet. No. Clearly, the bosses wanted you to offer explanations. So clearly, somebody. No, they did not have. The, nobody. Let's go, Jay. That moment right there, because usually, as you see me, as I'm prepping for the show, I don't get an opportunity to watch uh, the competition too often. But I, I saw that, and the second I saw that, two <laughs> thoughts came to my mind. Number one. Uh -huh. Number one, and I told you this when I saw you a few months later. I said, Shannon, never, ever give up that seat. You should have been there right. the next day. You should have been there. I don't, right. I don't give a damn if you yeah. sat up there and said nothing. You can't. You, you don't <laughs> give up that seat. That's exactly what I said to you. Remember that, right? That's exactly that's what a, you did That's tell exactly me what that. I did you tell you. Never that. give that's up that seat. I sort of said to Kenny Smith when Kenny Smith walked off the TNT, said, that's my brother. I love him to death. But I always, I said, no, don't give up that seat. That's number one. And number two, right. I also told you, that is the day I knew it was over you mm -hmm. would be leaving. I said, there is no way the yeah. Skip Bayless that I know, the Shannon Sharp that I came to know, the television business, the way that I know it, there is no way in hell they uh -huh. survived that together. It is over. Right. Shannon's going to be gone. Your thoughts yeah. that day? You did. Um, you told me a lot of things leading up to that point. Um, I, I, I think the thing for me is that I saw DeMar Hamlin and my brother. I remember watching my brother lay temporary paralyzed on the field. And I saw a lot of uh, uh, DeMar Hamlet in that situation. Um, for me, even in his, even though he opened the show the day that I wasn't there, saying his bosses wanted him to offer an explanation. And when I said the bosses had a problem with what you said, he simply said they did not. When he had clearly said to himself that the bosses had a problem with what he said and he needed to clarify it. I agree with you. Um, probably if I could go back and do one thing differently, there, there are a couple of things, uh, that situation, I definitely would not have, uh, uh I definitely should have reported. I'm sure they held that against me, but reported to I'm work, sure they had, reported to work. Yeah, 
Right. Yeah. 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 I should have. I should have. I, I, I should have uh, uh, gone in there and sat down and not. You know, if I show up to work, I'm gonna work. It's not like right. I'm gonna sit there and uh, hold out, <laughs> hold in while I'm there. Right. right. Um, no, I would have. I would have absolutely done my job, and uh, that's probably one of the one of the moments uh, in my tenure that uh, I'm least proud of that I didn't show up because on all the other jobs I've ever had, mm -hmm. I've never not shown up for work, and for me not to show up for work, um, I should have, and I was wrong in that situation, and uh, maybe they used maybe that was the final straw, maybe that was the coup de gras that they used to say okay. We want to move on without Shannon Sharp. Whatever the case may be, um, I was wrong in that instance for for not showing up to work. But that particular day, when you responded the way that you responded, when you were interrupted, was that your way yes. of just saying, "I'm done. I've had enough." Um, it's well, over. I was just like, "Okay, let me get through the monologue. If you have anything that you want to object to, you want to add, you can do it then. At least just let me get through the monologue." Because, you know, Stephen A., like, if you remember a couple of months later, uh, I had an incident at the Laker game with the Grizzlies. Yeah. Is that when I did what I did, I didn't have anything. That that was from my heart. Yeah. I don't put anything in prompter. That was from that was me speaking. Yeah. And what I was talking about. I told about you you handled that right, too. I told you you handled yes. that right. Absolutely. Because you can't the put The DeMar in Hamlin situation, situation right. Stephen A., that was from my heart. There right. was nothing written in prompter. Mm -hmm. My farewell speech, there was nothing written in prompter. Mm. So I just wanted him to let me get through. He could object to anything that I said that he liked or disliked or he wanted to add. That was fine, but just let me get through it. Mm. But at that point in time, I just think the thing is, he was like, I don't, I don't, I don't really want to hear anything else he has to say. I just want to move on. And that, that was fine. But if you notice to go back to that Tom Brady, and this is what, a lot of people um, was most proud of that. If you didn't see that moment, you would have never know that moment happened in the show. Cause I went on and carried on like nothing to happen. Mm. And that happened very early in the show, Stephen A. Yeah. I went on and did my job the last two and a half minutes, the last two hours and 15 minutes of that show. If you did not watch that actual segment, you would have never known Skip and I had an issue. That's how well I compartmentalized what had transpired. And I think athletes do a great job of compartmentalizing because a lot of times being an ex-professional athlete, Stephen A, we deal with things that people at home and people in the arena or, or uh, in the stadium have no idea what they're going through. But we're able to compartmentalize that and play to a high level. And, and so that's what, I, for that moment, I went back, I'm an athlete. Compartmentalize this, Shannon. Do what you need to do because you're still Shannon Sharp. You're still Libby Sharp, Sterling Sharp's little brother. You're still the father of Kayla, Kaylee, and Kiari. Hey, you can do this. And so that's what I did. Hey, smile, came out the next segment like nothing had happened. I'm inside, I'm an inferno. Right. But I understand that I have a job to do. And when I show up to work, the one thing, you go ask Mike Shanahan, Coach Reeves, rest his soul, is gone away, Brian Billick. When I came, when I showed up, I gave him an honest day's work. And so, you know what? Even though that happened early in the show, mm -hmm. I say I still owe Fox an honest day's work. When it was over, how mm -hmm. fearful were you? When you were departing from FS1, mm -hmm. how fearful were you that those incidences the apparent friction that existed on camera for all the world to see. Mm -hmm. How fearful were you that your career and your career aspirations were going to be compromised because of those incidences? Well, you, 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 you could never be for sure. Uh, you would have liked to have left on the greatest of terms, but even someone that leaves on the greatest of terms, sometimes people might say things. So I really didn't know. Um, I just, and, and, and I was like, okay, I have my podcast. So if, and really Stephen A, you know, ESPN is really the only, the only or the platform that kind of do what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And so I said, well, I don't know. They, they probably not going, they probably not going to give me a chance because they're probably 
everybody knows everybody and they'll probably say, well, he was this and he was that. And so I was like, I, I, I really didn't know. I, I really didn't know what to expect. And then talking to you and he's like, you know, what do you want? You, you say, hey, you, you hit me up. I said, big boy, what you want to do? I said, man, I want to work. I said, I want to work. I said, I think I'm good at this. I think I can be an asset to uh, a network. Um, I'm hardworking. I'm do my job and I'm going to go home. And uh, he says, well, I want you. You told me, so I want you. And uh, it's not up to me whether they hire you or not. He said, but I'm going to go tell the bosses today that I want you. And true to your word, a um, couple of days later, one of the ESPN execs reached out, got to gauge my interest. That was like on a, uh, I want to say a Wednesday, Thursday. And that Monday morning, he flew down. We had breakfast together. He said, tell me what you want. I said, I'm looking to do this, this, and this. He says, okay. And then you you hit me up. He says, hey, we're going to green like this thing. I said, all right. I said, bro, you know you know what you're getting. Yeah. I said, I, I work hard. I said, uh, now, I, I like to have people to give – you know, on a regular job, on a job resume, you have to give like three or four references. So hopefully that ESPN reached out to Fox. I mean, uh, reached out, okay, obviously Fox, but reached out to CBS, reached out to uh, uh, the Broncos, reached out to the Ravens, because those are really the only employees I had. I did manual labor until I was like 18, but right. uh, most of those people that I work for are, are, are no longer with us. Um, and so... Stephen A, to be honest, I really didn't know. I really didn't know, but I was kind of like, man, what if they say this and I don't have any way to refute what they're saying? So I really I really didn't know what to expect, well, but I felt really good. Once you reached out to me, I was at peace. I was going to ask you about that because I wasn't worried about no damn references. I was like, I wanted to know how you, <laughs> how shocked were you that, you know, that I went public and I said, I want the Shannon Sharp. I was shocked. <laughs> I'm like, hold on. I was, no, no, on God's honest right. truth. I was shocked. I'm like, well, damn. I mean, I'm just, the door just closed behind me. Yeah. And here is somebody on a platform, the number one, he's the biggest in morning television, there's no one bigger than Stephen A. Smith. And he's saying that he wants a guy that just let go. A lot of times when people get let go, people automatically think they're damaged goods. He did something. So you were saying, hey, nah, I want that brother. I know that brother. I know that brother's background. And there are too many people that have vouched for him to let me know the type of person that he is. And I'm willing to put Stephen A. Smith on the line. Mm. Bruh, when you called me and said, it's not up to me, but I am going to tell the bosses, I have bosses. He's like, yes, uh, first take, I'm the executive producer, but I have bosses over Stephen A. Smith, but I am going to tell them today that I want Shannon Sharp on first take. Now, whether or not you want to come and be a part of that, that's on you but I'm going to tell them that today. And well, being a man of your word, you did exactly that. Well, people, within a for people that want to know that story, just go to Club Shay Shay. When you sat down and interviewed me and I explained all, I explained everything and I explained why. But as we sit here today now and you've had all of this time to reflect on everything that's happened, you know, and you look at your career and where it's going because I'm seeing big things for Club Shay Shay. There's mm -hmm. obviously big things for first take, and and I will never root against Skip Bayless. Let me be very very clear. No, I don't. And, I don't. And I, I know don't you won't either. Because we got Fr Sherm. Here's the thing: I've known Richard Sherman, and yes. I've given in the we talk about football related things, and he reached out. Yeah, I told him I said, Sherm, you got to devote your time to it. I say you got to become well versed. We know mm -hmm. you know football. You played at a high level. I say, but now in order for you to be really really good, you're gonna have to immerse yourself. In basketball, you're going to have to immerse yourself on other sports. You're going to have to be willing to put yourself out there on societal issue because they will arise. I know Michael Urban 30 years. He and I have been good friends, uh, you know, 15, 20 years. Right. I don't know Key as well. I know who he is. Yep. I haven't been around him. But how am I going to root for him? Look, if this table, there's food for everybody to eat off of. Right. Even though we're not eating off, even though I'm not eating at the table where they're eating, Mm -hmm. there's food on the table for everybody to eat. And that's how I look at it.
I won't skip to be successful. I won't first take I won't first take to be more successful. I'm not gonna hear sit here and say mm-hmm. I want them to be as successful as us, because right. hell I'll be lying. Right. But I do want them to be successful, just not as successful as us. That's what I've been saying for weeks. Everybody's been asking me about it. I said, I, I Keyshawn Johnson and I go back nearly twenty five years. Yeah. Michael Lurvin and I, same thing. Richard Sherman and I have gone back over the last decade. We know each other. I love I, I love them to death. I love all three of them. I'm never going to root against them. That's number one. And number two, I'm too grateful to Skip Bayless to root against him. I just right. want to be more successful than the competition. Yeah. It's just yes. that simple. And I know that's hard for people to accept, but damn it, they'll have to get over it.